Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining the pipes in series considering various losses. For that, first I will draw the diagram. So, to explain the pipes in series, here I have drawn two tanks. One is called as tank A and this is tank B. Tank A is at a higher level as we can see here, tank B at a lower level and these are the surfaces of, I am assuming the liquid to be water, it can be any other liquid as well. So, this is an open tank subjected to atmospheric pressure as we can see with this symbol it is an open tank similarly tank b is also open and the water surface level between the two tanks the difference is denoted by capital h which is also called as the level difference these two tanks are connected between three pipelines having different diameters and different lengths as we can see here the diameter of pipeline one is d1 length is l1 similarly for pipe two it is d2 and l2 for pipe 3 it is D3 and L3. Now there would be various losses due to this connection. The first loss which I can see here is when the pipe uh, water enters into pipeline 1 it will be entering with a velocity of V1. So there will be the loss of head due to the entry of the pipe and this is considered as the minor loss. Next, when the water flows through this pipeline 1, depending upon the length of the pipe and the material or the friction factor, there will be head loss due to friction. So that is the second loss. After that, the fluid enters into this pipeline 2 where the velocity would be V2. And since there is a sudden expansion as we can see here, so there will be the head loss due to sudden expansion. So we have one minor loss due to entry then major loss which is due to friction after that there is the head loss due to sudden expansion which is again a minor loss next there will be again head loss due to friction depending upon the length of the pipe the fluid velocity the material of the pipe after that as we can see there is contraction the diameter suddenly contracts to diameter d3 so there will be head loss due to sudden contraction which is again a minor loss. Next, the fluid enters with a velocity V3. After that, it would be flowing in this pipeline. So again, there will be head loss due to friction inside pipeline 3. And then it would be exiting inside this tank B with a velocity of V3. So there will be head loss due to exit of the pipe. So how many losses are there? We can see that there is one then 2, 3 and 4, 4 minor losses and 3 major losses due to friction. So all these losses 
are nothing but the resistance which we have to overcome and that is indicated by this level difference. So I will write here that the level difference is equal to all losses. Level difference is indicated by capital H and all the losses first this is due to entry so I will write down H suffix entry plus head loss due to friction in pipe 1 HF1 plus head loss due to sudden expansion sudden expansion then head loss due to friction in pipeline 2 major loss then due to sudden contraction so head loss due to sudden contraction after that again due to length L3 there will be head loss due to friction called as the major loss in pipeline 3 so HF3 and finally the head loss due to exit of the pipe so here we can see there are these seven losses and out of them H entry sudden expansion sudden contraction and head loss due to sudden exit these are considered as the minor losses whereas HF1 HF2 and HF3 are called as the major losses so here I have written that the level difference is equal to all these losses and for these individual losses that is H entry HF1 H ex sudden expansion and up to H exit the links of these individual videos would be provided in the description below so you all can check the description there would be the links in which I had explained how to get these formula that is these losses so you all can refer and complete this concept at the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching